Well, hello everybody and welcome back to another morning of Good Morning Sri Lanka right here on MTV Sports. Uh, of course, the weather has been quite hazy these days and I hope this day turns out uh, well. Well, I'm Vasam and you are watching Good Morning Sri Lanka as I said. Now, something that's been trending lately is an episode which a lot of people are talking about and not just verbally. Most of the things they're talking about is on social media and that's an episode and that's a series rather which you've heard quite well lately and that's Game of Thrones. Now, the problem with this is that the show is so addictive that the moment an episode is released and you go on Facebook, for example, and you look at your home feed, you get turned off by all the spoilers that come up. And that's the problem with social media. Social media has taken over our lives lately. And if you go on Twitter or Facebook or whatever these channels, sometimes you come across these spoilers. Now, talking about Game of Thrones, if you are a fan and if you do watch uh, the show constantly, uh, you would also go through its introduction, which is quite a beautiful animation. And in those lines, we at MTV Sports came across another video which is beautifully done. Um, if you are a Game of Thrones fan, you will see the resemblance. So check this out. Well, what you witnessed right there was a very creative depiction and animation of how social media has taken over the world. Well, believe it or not, uh, the first thing we do sometimes when we wake up in the morning is log into our phones and check on Facebook. Um, and of course, uh, Facebook is something that has caught on quite well here in Sri Lanka, but then there are the other users who also use other various apps like Twitter, and if you're an office uh, or corporate professional or a career-driven person, you'd also look into stuff like LinkedIn. And uh, we here in Sri Lanka, it has caught on as well, and something that we hear uh, quite often is about this uh, selfie syndrome, which a lot of people think is a disease, where we just take our phones, we just take pictures of ourselves, and we put it up on Facebook or Instagram. But anyway, the good thing is, um, we at MTV Sports were quite social media savvy as well and if you want to uh, check out our Facebook page it's www.facebook.com slash Lanka. that's www.facebook.com slash Lanka. and of course most of our shows are also available on YouTube so you can check out or search for our YouTube channel which is MTV Sports uh, Sri Lanka if you want to get a repeat telecast now the beauty of these social media channels is the fact that you know, there are lots of channels out there, but most of these ones that got popular um, are ones that were created by people um, who started from scratch, started from nowhere, and they never knew um, that the platform that they created would go so viral. So sometimes you don't know what would go viral and what wouldn't. And here this morning on Good Morning Sri Lanka, I am proud to introduce you uh, to some local talent uh, who's in the process of developing a very unique uh, social media network which they hope that one day would go viral and who knows these two young gentlemen in the studio this morning could end up being billionaires like Zuckerberg you'd never know um, to introduce them to you we have uh, Pamkaja uh, Vitanarachi and uh, Udar Jawadana good morning guys good morning, good morning. and uh, thanks for being with us on the studio this morning so I take it uh, you're 18 and you're 17 yeah yeah, and where do you all school? Uh, we school at Gateway College. At Gateway, Gateway College. All right. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Um, I'm a math student. Uh, 
and uh, I'm a self-taught uh, hardware. Uh, I do hardware engineering. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I'm Udar Javadan, and I've always been a designer and a developer, self-taught, uh, from around the grade of seven. And I love creating new things. I see. When you said designer and developer, what kind of designs do you do? Uh, basically, um, I've started off on uh, DeviantArt, uh, and for now I've created over 400 designs for, well, for as a hobby and for certain companies and certain other projects of mine. DeviantArt is what you said? Uh, DeviantArt. It's uh, basically, you can call it a social network for artists. Oh, wow. So, I mean, I always thought, okay, when it comes to developing and stuff, I mean, you, you said you, you, you self-taught yourself from the age of seven. Um, Great seven. From grade seven. Yes. I'm sorry. And like, for example, when you go and check out a lot of these vacancy pages lately, there is so much of demand all around here in Sri Lanka for developers, and you know, there are lots of jargons which a lot, lot of people who are in the field would know. Like they say they want uh, script developers or people who know Java or lots of things. Um, but a lot of people actually go through a lot of uh, professional courses to kind of get that knowledge. How is it that you manage yourself, teach yourself? It was a lot of work and basically you need to make a lot of mistakes and eventually though you will learn the process of uh, like trial and error basically on software itself. But there's a lot of code and stuff involved, right? Yeah. I see, that's great. So, coming back to this social network which I told our viewers a little while ago, um, what is the social network called? Uh, our social network is called SOSI. SOSI? Yes. Uh, could you spell that for us? S O O S C I. Alright. Um, what does that mean? Um, it, uh, it's a combination of the words social and science. Uh, I see. Uh, basically, we wanted uh, one uh, using for both science students take the scientific approach on uh, social networks because there's so much information you can gather, and there's so much you could do with it. Uh, social, because social networks are really what's in. So, I mean, honestly, tell me. When you guys were looking for a name, um, did you have other options as well? Or was this something that just suddenly came from the top of your mind and you said, okay, this is what you're going to name it? Uh, basically, I came up with a few names and uh, we had like uh, a few friends uh, in a group first called, uh, which is named with the project. Okay. And uh, we put up a voting and we had a few options, some very strange options. And Pankaji came up with the definition Soshi and that got the most votes. Basically. Well, lately, um, especially when it comes to these social networks and with their names, you get a lot of, uh, um, how do I say, there are a lot of names and a lot of phrases that come up. Um, for example, if you're posting a tweet, you're going to say, okay, let's tweet it. Or if you're going to take a picture on Instagram, you're going to say Instagram it or Facebook it or Foursquare it, for example. Um, so. What do you think, if, if, if this catches on, what do you think people are going to call Sosi? It's Sosi. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think we'll just stick to uh, just post it. Yes. And post it. you never know what might catch on, because when Twitter launched or something, uh, people would never have believed on saying, let's tweet it. So you never know. I see. Oh, well, uh, we need to go in for a short commercial break, but when we do come back, we're going to explore the social network and um, go more in depth to it. So don't go away. We'll be right back here on Good Morning Sri Lanka. Welcome back to Good Morning Sri Lanka. Social media is the topic for this morning, and on that note, we do want to visit our Facebook page. It's www.facebook.com slash goodmorningsrilanka. It's facebook.com slash goodmorningsrilanka. So if you're watching right now, um, you can take your phones out, take your smartphones out, and if you want, give us some feedback on our wall. And if you want to say anything to the presenters, we'd be glad uh, to get online and um, reply personally to you. And of course, if, you have, if you're Twitter users, you're most welcome to tweet about the show anytime you want. Talking about Twitter, how about you? Are you on Twitter? Yeah, I'm on Twitter. Uh, my Twitter handle is uh, UJZ, triple A, 
U J Z Triple E. Yeah. All right. So there you go. If you if you if you're on Twitter and if you want to follow Udara and find out more about the social media network called Soci, which is about to be launched, right? Yeah. Uh, if you want to know a lot more about that, even after the show, the easiest thing is follow um, Udara's Twitter handle, which is U J Z Triple E. U J Z Triple E and Udara has promised us that he's going to keep tweeting updates. And if you want to follow me on Twitter, it's Wasam Ismail. Uh, that's W A S W A M I S M A I L. And um, of course, getting back to our topic, which is Soci. Um, okay, now each social media network has its own different concept. So, um, and of course, some of these networks also has its similarities. Like for example, something I've noticed is the fact that um, G Plus always tries to keep up with Facebook. And sometimes even um, the kind of things the things they come up with um, are very similar to Facebook, except for maybe G plus has circles and uh, Facebook. It's a whole different concept, and Twitter is a whole different concept altogether to LinkedIn to something like Instagram. So, give us an insight of what your concept is like. Uh, Pankaj, would you like to take it? It's fine. Sure. Okay. Uh, so, so see. Uh, when people think of social networks, they directly go right into Facebook and all the problems it has and etc. But we want people to forget about it on Sochi. We want to redefine what social networking is. Uh, we want to build a social network for mainly close uh, friends and family and uh, help link up people in, a way, uh, in an unimaginable way, like for the future. Uh, for example, our Sochi Wisp brand and uh, our apps sort of and our website everything which uh, it's meant to update itself automatically and keep you linked with your friends and uh, close friends and family uh, automatically sort of I see so um, if you were to give us an insight as to how it would work uh, could you, could you comment on that? Uh, yeah sure um, uh, what I really do is the hardware uh, which is a wristband uh, it's more, it's uh, a fitness tracker of sorts, uh, but it does more than the usual fitness tracker. Uh, emotions, it could keep track of how you felt during the day, uh, where you felt stressful, where you felt happy. So how does it work really? Uh, it measures a lot of things, uh, really uh, the biology of it. Wow. Uh, yeah, uh, heartbeat, pulse, uh, skin conductance, a lot of, uh, it, there's a, li a lot of science that goes into this. Mm -hmm. Wow, so, okay. Um, this particular thing, this, this tracker you were talking about, is it a part of the main social media network? Uh, it's one way where you can, uh, it's one way to input, where you, as in Facebook where you would type up a status. Here you could wear the wristband and, and let you share what you normally couldn't. Yeah. That's basically the whole idea behind Soshi. If you, like if you run, um, basically if you run 800 meters a day, the brand records it and you can sort of show it off on your social network by just simply clicking a button and it will put it up. I see. Yeah. Okay, if 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 we take the two of you, how how which which aspect do the two of you contributing? Uh, uh, as I said, I was hardware where I would make the wristband. I'm currently doing development for that, and Udar is working on the website and the back end for the website. I see. The so software. he's he's so you're the software guy and he's the hardware yeah. guy. Amazing. Yeah. So who came up with this idea? Uh -huh. uh, well, the software was all there is the concept. Uh, basically, one day in school, uh, he comes up to me and says, um, the, he, f he found out that uh, people have been using Twitters, uh, tw uh, tweets uh, to find out uh, the spread of diseases, disease outbreaks. And then he got the idea for a social network that would use both science and the social aspect. I and then I, then I came along and said, why don't we put some hardware and uh, make it more effective. This is really cool because also, um, if you take the history of some of these social networks like Facebook for example usually it's uh, apparently a combination of people who comes together like maybe two or three people who come together and put this and then later on when you know things go really great then comes in the lawsuits <laughs> where there are disagreements so hopefully the two of you won't get into a lawsuit in a few years when your social network gets extremely popular pretty <laughs> sure we never will <laughs> my advice to you drop the legal contracts right away <laughs> <laughs> but talking about uh, social media in general, I mean, uh, we've seen how it has spread globally to such an extent where sometimes uh, people are more